Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Shark Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an extremely large shark, but actually a nebula out in space that may have the vague appearance of a shark. Now it's an example of a dusty nebula, sometimes called a dark nebula, and we see some of the darker, denser areas, especially up towards the upper left hand side. And the rest of it is dust in space. Now dust is not like earth dust, but is actually very small particles, much smaller than typical dust here on Earth. But when that dust is there, it'll block out the light from behind and usually gives the things a darker color. So it's harder to see the stars through the dust simply because the dust is absorbing and scattering some of that light. So when the dust is most heavily concentrated, we get the very dark knots that we see and you don't see any light from behind them. When there's less dust, you see that stars are maybe somewhat dimmed but not completely blacked out. When there's a, a lower concentration of dust around a star, you get what is called an emission nebula. And you can see a couple of those uh, just to the left of center towards the top and bottom of the nebula where there's unusual brightness. And that is regions around our, around a bright star. And that star is scattering its light off of the particles around it. So those dust particles scatter the light. Now they're also very good at scattering short wavelengths like blue as compared to long wavelengths like red light. So the red light penetrates better through the dust and the blue light gets scattered all around. It's a similar process, although not exactly the same as what makes our sky blue. Our atmosphere is very good at scattering out blue light and lets red light through. So when we watch a sunrise or a sunset, the sun looks very red. Of course, the sun is not changing. It's exactly the same as it would be at any point during the day. However, when it uh, is very close to the horizon. It's past the light is passing through a lot of atmosphere, and that makes it appear red since all of those shorter wavelengths have been scattered out. Where do they go? Well, they scatter from all around, and we get them coming from all directions in the sky, giving the sky the very blue color that we associate with our sky here on Earth. Now you might see one other far more distant object here. And in fact, if you look off to the right hand side, you can see another galaxy. In fact, toward the right and a little bit above the relatively uh, brighter star that's within the Shark Nebula off to the right. Uh, just off and up to the right above that one, we can see a galaxy, a much more distant object well beyond the Shark Nebula out in space the shark nebula being only about 650 light years away and the galaxy being many times further away well outside our own galaxy so here we get to see not only the dark nebula of the uh, shark but we also get to see several emission nebulae and even a distant galaxy so that was our picture of the day for June 14th of 2023. It was titled The Shark Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.